Right. Who'd like to play with the train set? Sounds fantastic. Me? Yes. Excellent. Let's do it. Isn't it, isn't it always the case? Hey, never Hey, hey. Brilliant. This is the double oak barn stall. I'm quite pleased with this because I bought it at the toy auction when some nerdy collectors were about to buy it and put it in a display cabinet. There it is, going round on a train set like it's supposed to. Was it in the box? It was in the box, yeah, but I threw the box away. Yeah, good man, good man. James bought me a train for a birthday present once and um, it, it never came out of the box. They buy presents they want to buy for themselves. Sells. Jingle bells, jingle bells. It's completely right. There's nothing wrong with it. Something's not right on there, I can hear it. That would be ridiculous. No, something's a bit rapid. Yeah, it's completely okay. It's not just trains, but I think there's still something about playing with toys which lasts for the whole of your life. I think boys still are quite interested in how things work and what can we do with them and how can we <laughs> smash them up. Oh, the fields we go. Uh, oh, oh, who did... <laughs> That's pathetic. James is really only about seven. <laughs> and I think that's the fundamental difference. It's kind of, you know, the dog or cat, yes. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song at night. I'd like to leave you with a thought this Christmas. Who really needs toys? Not the children. It's us. Look at this lot. They haven't had this much fun since they were about eight years old. So please, no more comedy cufflinks or any of that rubbish. Just get us something with suitable for ages seven to 12 printed on the side of the box. That'd be super. Merry Christmas.